Hello and welcome to the Cortica Giving Challenge live from the Bronx. I'm Zawadi Boyce. And I'm Connor Tobin and we are thrilled to be this year's uh, Host, host of the, of the Cortica <laughs> Giving Challenge live stream. But we want to take this time to extend a huge thank you to the crew and staff and students and everyone at Bronx Community College for hosting us for this stream. We would not be able to do it without you guys. For sure. Bronx Community College has, a, has uh, given us these facilities, the studio space, student production assistants and technical staff, and we can't be more than thankful um, for all that they've provided us. Well, now let's introduce ourselves yeah. since we're your hosts for today. Uh -huh. I'm going to start with introducing myself. Uh, my name is Zawadi Boyce. I am a junior MLK scholar at Ithaca College, and I'm majoring in television and digital media production. I even co-produced a little show called Blacklisted on ICTV. It's ICTV's one and only black entertainment show. Um, and I am also a third year television digital media production major. I'm a producer for ICTV's best sports show, Sports Final, and the captain of the men's club soccer team. Wow, club soccer, I didn't know you did that. I mean, yeah. are you guys any good? Like, where can we see you play? Uh, I mean, unfortunately, our, our season's over, Zawadi. Oh, um, man. And even more, unfortunately, we're, we're pretty bad. So, oh. so I don't know if you're going to want to come out to a game. But. That's honestly kind of tough. I mean, is there anything that you can think of that'll make you guys play better? Yeah, I mean, I could always say, like, more field time, mm. better players, mm -hmm. maybe, like, a coach here and there. But <laughs> some funding could always hey. make an old man smile, you know? <laughs> so get us new jerseys, some soccer balls, and just funding. Money always makes everyone smile. And I mean, but that's a conversation for another day. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, no, sorry. you're so okay, right. We'll get you're back so right. to it. Yeah. I mean, but what are we even doing here? Do we even know what we're doing here? I, I mean, we know what we're doing here. D Did they? Do, they don't know what we're doing here. <laughs> um, so, we let, let's let's like enough about us. <laughs> sorry. Um, let's let's get into the thick yes. of things. Why are we here? This is the Cortica Giving Challenge. Cortica Jug. Um, let's see what this long-standing rivalry between Ithaca and Cortica really is about. Honestly, because I don't even know what it's about, and I've been hearing about it for so long. So why don't we take a look at this? College game day is a special moment. Oh, here we go, boys! Guys, got, what do we got up front here, huh? What y'all got Fun. today? Once a year for two schools, it's much more than just a football game. There aren't many rivalries in Division III football as deep-rooted as this. Ithaca College versus SUNY Cortland. It's a true rivalry. Dating back to 1930, the schools have competed. Touchdown, Cortland State! Described as the biggest little game in the nation, the stage is set. The game of a lifetime, the Cortica Jug in Yankee Stadium. But this year, it's much more than just the game on the gridiron. Not only is it players versus players on the field, it's alumni versus alumni off the field. The Cortica Giving Challenge. Which school's alums love their alma mater the most? Who can get more donors and raise more money? Bombers versus Red Dragons. Ithaca versus Cortland. We need you to step up and represent Ithaca College. The stakes are high. The school, the community, and President Cornish are relying on you. Who will stay undefeated on the field? And who will bring home the bragging rights? Donate to the Cortica Giving Challenge at giving.ithaca.edu to keep me in blue because I don't look good in red. All right, come on, guys. You uh, know how much President Cornish hates red. Um, you know what we need to do. Go right now to giving.ithaca.edu. Um, everybody needs to donate. We need to get as many people on the board and keep President Cornish in blue. You know what? Let's, let's backtrack a little bit. Okay. Why don't we talk about yeah. who we are and what our class is doing here and what we've been up to the past few days. Yeah, for sure. Live event class, we've been on a crazy, crazy schedule. Um, and we have, a, we have a pretty cool map to, to give to you guys an me. idea of what, what we've been up to. So let's take a look. Yeah. So. We've been here since Thursday. Um, yeah. And what do we do on Thursday, Zawadi? Well, honestly, on Thursday night, some of our class went to the Alumni Awards at the Marriott Marquis, which were so awesome. We got to talk to a ton of alums. We're going to talk about that later. Yes. Um, then and then Friday. Yeah, <laughs> moving on to Friday. Friday morning, we were lucky enough to get a behind the scenes tour of MLB Network, um, their headquarters in New Jersey mm -hmm. with an Ithaca alumni. We have a ton of alums there, so uh -huh. it was really cool to be able to see that. Yeah. And then, 
Also on Friday, some of us went over and did a technical test at Brock's Community College to prepare for this stream that we're doing right now. Where we are right now, have to test all the equipment, all the servers, all, all that you technical know. stuff, you know, park, park school park stuff. Park school stuff, yada, yada. if you know, you know. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so it's been a crazy busy past few days. I feel like I have not slept in 72 hours. Yeah. And it's crazy, but while we're on this topic, you know, let's take a look at all the stuff we have planned for later in the night, mm -hmm. where we might get to hear a little bit more from President Cornish. Love that. And also we're gonna check in with alumni from both Ithaca and Cortland, all around the city, celebrating. And we're gonna talk to students abroad in both LA and London um, to share in this wonderful Ithaca community we have here. So it's great. We also had the IC Unity event and the Alumni Awards and the MTD event last night. So. There's a lot of full high plate. spirits here. There's yeah. a full play. We have a lot of things going on, and uh -huh. everyone's super excited. Yeah, we definitely have a lot to cover, and we hope, we hope you'll be sticking around. Oh, you better. for through through all of it. Um, and for those of you who don't stay, I was talking with Cornish, with mm -hmm. President Cornish earlier, and she told me that whoever doesn't stay for this entire stream, you are no longer considered an alumni. Connor, you can't say that. But I mean, it's honestly kind of true. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, you know, this is all about the Cortica Giving Challenge. So why don't we go take a look at our ticker that ticker we have check? set up? Let's yeah, do, let's do a ticker little, check. Let's do First a ticker, ticker check, check of the night. Yeah. So or the day. I don't even know. We'll head over, <laughs> we'll head over here to our uh, our big monitor. Whoa! Look, at this, look at this. I mean, Bronx Community College outdid themselves. Oh my right goodness! Here. I don't want to cover the graphic, but let's take a look here. What do we have, Zawadi? So it looks like right now we are at 625 Cortland and 615 Ithaca. You guys, what are we doing here? Guys, we need to do better. We need to do better. It's still early. It is but definitely we need to still do better. early. Yeah, we're down by ten. Um, we we can pull this back. I believe in us bombers. I believe in us. Okay. We can um, turn this around completely. But you know, we also have a hashtag that's going around. Uh -huh. Hashtag bombers give back. So, and you can feel the excitement pouring in from all the fans. So let's take a look at what they're saying on social media under the hashtag bombers give back. Oh my gosh. Look at this. <laughs> so Ithaca College tweeted a photo of President Cornish and David Boreanis, wow. as you can see right here, uh, together posing at Yankee Stadium. The caption, look who stopped by Yankee Stadium to wish President Cornish and your football bombers good luck. Warm IC welcome to David Boreanis, television star and 1991 IC alum. Wow. Go hashtag bombers in the Bronx, IC Park School, and all the, all the hashtags. All the hashtags. So um, God, that's I a great this. post. Whoa. Yeah. We got Hersey 69 right here, right? Mm -hmm. Hersey 69 right here writes, the Mo must eat before heading to see the beloved Ithaca College Bombers take on the dreaded Cortland Red Dragons at Yankee Stadium. So honestly, he's looking forward to seeing some old friends and possibly making new friends. We love to see the Ithaca community growing and just having a good time. Yeah, but I mean, I'm a huge fan of David Boreanis um, from when he played Angel on Buffy, oh, the love, Vampire Slayer. Love. Um, Honestly, the fact that we have celebrity and alumni like David that are still supporting Ithaca, it really keeps our spirits up. Seriously, and to those watching, you can keep uh, the spirit going by making a gift donation to giving.ithaca.edu. And don't forget to use the hashtag BombersGiveBack on all our social media so that you can be featured in our live stream. Yep. So, um, yeah, just just uh, we're so excited. Continuing on, continuing you <laughs> on. You know, um, we hope you're enjoying so far. We're we're yes. trying to do our best. I you know, mean, it's live. It's live. You know, you never know what's gonna happen. Uh -huh. So honestly, yeah. stay tuned to make sure that you're a part of this as well. I yeah. mean, it's Cortica. And and just to remind everyone, we're here promoting the the giving the challenge, giving challenge. The, the Cortica giving challenge, and yeah, anything you give, anything you give, and it's not about the amount you give, it's about the amount of people that donate. So mm -hmm. give five dollars. So, yeah. Yeah, so get on the board. Um... <laughs> Everybody, um, hope you're enjoying your day so far. Cortica Jug, um, Cortica Day, crazy day, NYC. Crazy. Um, thanks it. for tuning back in to the uh, live stream with me and Zawadi. Um, yes. and we're here promoting the Cortica Giving Challenge. So for all alumni watching, we're going to remind you that you need to donate at giving.ithaca.edu and you can do a minimum of $5 or a maximum of whatever you want. Um, to get your donation on the board, you just need $5. And it's not about the amount of money you give. It's about, it's about the amount of people. We like to see the Ithaca community giving back. Yep. So um, I, don't, I don't know about you, Zawadi, but I think our alumni are doing a really great job so far. But we could be doing better. Definitely you're, be doing better. You're so right. We saw the score. Uh -huh. So <laughs> speaking of alumni, one very special IC alum has been a huge part in helping students get involved broadcasting uh, the Cortica Jug at Yankee Stadium. You're so right, Connor. Honestly, we have IC alum from the class of 1978, Bruce Beck. That's who we're talking about here. Uh -huh. 
Bruce what a guy. Beck graduated from the Roy H. Park School of Communications, majoring in sports media. Wow. Yeah. With his Ithaca College education, Bruce became a titan in the sports broadcasting industry. He is very well known NBC and New York WNBC Channel 4 Sports sports anchor. Bruce has covered countless sporting events, including Super Bowls, NBA Finals, Stanley Cups, U.S. Open Tennis Championships, and even more. And along with all that, he's covered nine Olympic Games, and most recently, the Tokyo Games in 2020. Whoa. So this is his 25th year as lead sports anchor at WNBC New York, and is and he's now the host of popular new sports show, Sports Final, on Sunday nights. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're all thinking. How'd, how did I get Bruce Beck to be the lead anchor of my ICTV show, mm -hmm. Sports Final? <laughs> Unfortunately, that isn't the Sports Final I'm a producer for, but it's good to see that he's clearly taking some tips from myself and my co-producers. I mean, I don't know about that one, but if it makes you happy, we'll let you keep thinking that. Yeah, yeah, I, <laughs> I most definitely will uh, be thinking that. Um, and that's fine. <laughs> so, today, Bruce Beck will be broadcasting beside two students commentating over the Cortica Jug live from Yankee Stadium. That is honestly so awesome and super thoughtful and generous of Bruce just for being willing to share his knowledge and give some students the chance to work alongside an industry giant like himself. Definitely. That really goes to show how powerful and great our alumni network is. The reach is endless and there's always someone from IC willing to share knowledge and help out. You know, along with Bruce Beck, we have a ton of alums here in the city celebrating the Cortica Jug and the Cortica Giving Challenge. Mm -hmm. And Stan's Bar in the Bronx is the hotspot for all of those IC alums. And luckily, we have a team of reporters there right now. So let's go over and see how they're doing. Let's send it over. What's up, guys? I'm Nicole Kelly. And I'm Christina Piazza. And right now, we're right outside Stan's Bar, which is right across from Yankee Stadium. This, of course, is the bar that all of the Ithaca alum are pre-gaming at right before the game. So we're going to take a look inside. If you guys stay tuned, we're going to talk to some alum. We're going to have some fun. But for now, back to Zawadi and Connor in the studio. <laughs> Jeez, Zawadi, it looks busy there. The atmosphere is crazy. I kind of I kind of wish we like don't tell everyone here, but I kind of wish we weren't in the studio. Like it looks insane out there. Uh, I know. I know. All right, go Connor. Okay, we're still going to have a ton of fun here Fair and enough. with everyone watching right now. Fair enough. But you're right, it does look like there's a crowd there. So mm -hmm. it looks really fun. Yeah. And if any of you are there right now watching live from stands, make sure to find Nicole and Christina so that you can have a chance to be interviewed to be on our live stream. Yeah, we'd love to hear from you um and speaking about alumni um, I hate to be the guy, but I think it's only fair that we give Cortland a fair, a fair chance and give them some limelight here on our show. Um, they also have a hub for their alumni um, across the city. They're in Midtown. They're nowhere near Yankee Stadium, but you know, that's a story for another day. Um, so let's send it to Gabe, who's at Stout NYC. So my beautiful fans, you know I'll do anything for you, but this might be my most ridiculous stunt yet. I'm here, I'm going down the stairs to the Cortland Alumni Bar. The Cortland Alumni Bar where all of the Cortland fans are going to be. I'm worried for my life, frankly, and uh, we'll, see, we'll see what kind of reactions we can get. Um, I'm, I'm terrified, I'm nervous, I'm scared to death, but uh, we'll see how it goes, thanks. <laughs> wow, well that sure was a bar. Yeah, um, I, mean, <laughs> I mean, we haven't really heard much from them, so... Hopefully we'll get a little chuckle out of them and Something. they can, they can kind of entertain us. Uh, those little fire breathers. <laughs> <laughs> they do seem to be donating them. Uh -huh. So we need to make sure that we're keeping up. Yeah, seriously. So um, I'm actually really excited for the rest of the streams. Like, Me too. I feel like we've had a, we've had a pretty strong start <laughs> to this. Like, I, feel, I think we're entertaining. <laughs> we're, we're, doing a pretty, you know, we're doing a pretty good job. Definitely. And remember, we have so much in store. Just to remind everyone, we're here to get you all involved with the Cortica Giving Challenge. Yep. Um, we need to beat Cortland in the amount of alums who make at least a $5 contribution to the Cortica Giving Challenge Fund. If we can't beat Cortland's number, total number of donors, President Cornish will need to wear Cortland red for an entire week. Exactly. And vice versa. So the Cortland president would have to wear our merch. So come on, Bombers. We need to make their president wear some bomber blue. Yeah, let's beat them. Come <laughs> on. Like, we'll check in again with the ticker later to keep us all updated. Um, we have a lot to get to and to cover in the meantime. You're so right, Connor. As we said, it has been a busy, busy, busy last few days. Our live event class has been working so hard and to get the stream up and running right now. Yeah. So mm -hmm. We have been on the move since Thursday, like we saw with the map earlier, when we all migrated from Ithaca to NYC. 
Um, on our first night in the city, we were able to go to I See in the City Alumni Awards. A team of, of classmates and I got to speak with countless alumni who won awards for their work. Um, how about we, let's take a look at uh, like why all of them are donating to the Giving Challenge and, yeah. and let, let's, let's take a look. It. Yeah, let's <laughs> take a look. My challenge to alums, uh, especially alums of color, that you're giving to the, the ALS, the African Latino Society Scholarship. I established a scholarship, I endowed a scholarship for community college students so that they can have a, a, a campus experience versus a commuter experience. I would love people to give to scholarship. Give to the college. Financially support the institution, uh, whether that be through one of the, the colleges, one of the programs just here, or just overall student life. And anybody who's been to Ithaca, if they don't give money, shame on them, because the money goes for very good causes. Doesn't matter where it goes, the idea is to give. You're given to student affairs to help students while they are struggling while in college, because th those things were a blessing to us while we were there. And so, as we prepare for the game on Saturday, we know we're gonna beat Cortland on the field, but we also know that we're gonna beat them in giving. Wow, that is so awesome to see such successful alumni like that. Mm -hmm. Not only staying engaged, but also promoting staying engaged and in contract with IC even after graduation. Yep. Later on, we'll see what some of the award winners had to say. So yeah. stay tuned for that. So along with the award show, a group of us were able to go to the Marriott Marquis um, in, for another event I see in the city for the uh, Musical Theater and Dance Showcase. So Wadi, you, you were there, right? You were. I was, I was, Connor. You know, this event was celebrating the combination of the Wayland School of Music the dance school and Dillingham. So instead of all these programs being separated, they are now all under the same roof and it is super exciting. Um, so it's allowing students with a lot of like different interests but similar ideas to come together and be together in classes with one another. So yeah. I think it's really great. Yeah, let's take a, let's take a quick look at the, uh, at what the MTD event was. Like the, the, the whole showcase was awesome. Awesome. Yeah. So let's take a look. Mm -hmm. um, we had a great time. The MTD event was so awesome. I was so excited to get to see that. Yeah. Um, we had a ton of performers. And what I personally loved about it was uh -huh. that a lot of the students got to perform. I mean, here we have the African German Dance Group that we've been lucky to see so many times in our live event class. They were great. They were amazing. But what I really loved about this event was that alums and students were able to perform together. Uh -huh. I thought that was such an amazing idea because we don't get to see a lot of that. Yeah, for sure. And being able to to speak with some of these alums who were performing and who are so pre prevalent in their mm -hmm. in their industries, them like we were speaking about with Bruce Beck, like sharing their knowledge and and giving us yeah. insight and helping students perform and put on such a great show like this I mean, one was. It was just it, it was awesome. It was a great Great and, show. and we got to talk to some of the alums, and I know they were having a super fun time reliving some of their moments, and just we got to see acting, we got to see singing, we got to see dancing. It was, it was a great show. Mm -hmm. I really, really enjoyed it, and I know that everyone there really enjoyed it as well. And I mean, look at the dancing. It is just so much fun. It was so interactive, and I'm just so glad that we got to be there and we got to be a part of it. Yeah. So it was it was really amazing. And did you did you hear Lejeune's speech at, at the oh, at the event? Oh my God. You know, I actually did, and I got to go and interview the president herself. No, you did not. You oh, to, oh, but I did in fact. Her? I got to go to her suite at the Marriott Marquis. Your suite? God, oh yeah. You are presidential. And it was nice. Look at you. Oh my God. So um, she's like the best ever. Um, one time, funny story, kind of off topic, but allow me, please. We'll, we'll, so, allow, you. we'll so, allow you. One time I was sitting in Emerson Suites just like eating a cheeseburger. As one does. I was, I was in between classes, kind of doing my thing on my <laughs> laptop, just eating a cheeseburger, getting getting some food in between classes. <laughs> um, Lejeune walked past me with her whole entourage of people yapping at her. Because she's and famous. Stuff, and she stopped. She was, I was taking a big bite of my burger and she stopped and she was like, that looks really good. Me mid bite, I'm like, oh, uh, <laughs> thanks President Cornish, me with my full mouth and everything. Um, and she told me like to enjoy it and have a good day as she walked off and continued with her, her whole entourage. <laughs> I thought that was super awesome. Like, like that was, she That's just so took, cute. took the time, take a second, <laughs> tell me that my cheeseburger looked good as I was stuffing my face with it. I thought it was, I thought it was a, a Pretty good moment, and hopefully she doesn't think I'm a weirdo talking like, with my mouth full. But you know, Never. you know, like how was it with you? Like, oh my how, gosh, you were with her? honestly, she is the best. She always knows like the right things to say. She's amazing. I mean, I'm honestly trying to 
emulate her a little bit with my blazer I, today. I noticed that. I don't you know look, if you noticed. No, you look good. You yeah, look no, good. I know. I just, I want to, I want to be her. I want to be her. Uh -huh. But yeah, no, she was amazing. Yeah. And we just got to hang out with her. It was really, really fun. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm really jealous that you got to have a like a conversation with her. But well, I mean, so, you did like, too, clearly. I mean. Uh, I guess so. Yeah, yeah but <laughs> let's. I want to. I want to see like your conversation. Let's go take a look at some of the things she had to say. Hi there. I am Lejeune Terry Cornish, and it is my honor and privilege to serve as the tenth president of Ithaca College. You know what I love about Ithaca is that everyone can be their authentic selves at Ithaca College. It's the people. You know uh, the connection. The alumni are connected to each other. That, that is sustainable for, for a lifetime. You know, they, the class of 89, they are all over the place uh, this weekend. And, and you know them, and they know each other. They have a brotherhood and a sisterhood. And the tie that binds them all is in the college. And that's what makes it special. There were two events tonight. So the first event was the IC Unity event. So students of color, who are alumni of color, who, who bonded together to support our students of today because they were supported when they were students here. And so, you know, it, it was a spiritual event. The Imani singers came back and they delivered a gospel song. Actually, they sang two songs. But, you know, to be able to worship with like-minded people in a place where you go to college and to still be connected to them decades after that, there's something special. We give a lot of money in scholarships. And, and so Ithaca College has made it possible for students to, to come here who may otherwise not have been able to afford to come here. Access and affordability is very important to us. So, you know, to those whom much is given, much will be required. And our alumni feel a sense of giving back because something was given to them. And so we appreciate that spirit of giving back because they received. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it's the biggest little robbery in college football. We are a Division Three school. And what's special about that is that our students are scholar athletes, okay? They don't intend to be in the NBA or the NFL. You know, although Tim Bacastro is a Major League Baseball player, and let me, let me give him a shout out. But people come to school to have sport, to come to Ithaca so they can play sports, but also so that they can go to school and realize their professional dreams. And so that's another thing that, that's distinctive about us. You can be a scholar athlete at Ithaca College, and our sports teams are phenomenal. My job right now as the chief cheerleader for Ithaca College is to make sure that people see our power, that we harness our power so that we can be that private college serving a public good. Wow. Uh, How lucky are we to have a president who is so dedicated to the Ithaca community? Oh, she really is. And you know, speaking of the Ithaca community, ooh, Ithaca community, uh -huh. let's check in on how our Ithaca community has been doing in this giving let's go, challenge. Let's go back over to the Let's line. go back to the ticker, yeah, you yeah, guys. Let's, let's come head on, back over come here. on. Um, what is this? But this is not really what we, we wanted to see here, guys. Guys, this is not where we need to be. Why do the Cortland Red Dragons have 629 donors and we only have 618. Guys, Bombers, we, we're we better than this. We seriously need everybody to help. Tell all your IC alumni buddies, <laughs> all your family, all your friends, even your friends who didn't go to Ithaca, go to giving.ithaca.edu. And honestly, while you're at it, make sure to give them the hashtag Bombers Give Back so that everyone on social media can see what they're doing and how their bomber pride Speaking is showing Speaking of off hashtag today. Bombers Give Back, let's take another look oh. at, a, at, a, at a post here. Zawadi, give us all a right. rundown here. Well, see, we have a post here from IC alumni where uh, singer and football player, football star, uh -huh. Nick Capitolupo, sang the national anthem. Sang the national anthem. And honestly, I saw videos of it. Amazing. Honestly, yeah. he's killing it. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> um, Let's see what he's else he's the got. offensive lineman. His name is Nick Capodulipo, uh, <laughs> class of 24. He's the same age as us. He's a, wow. He's a, he's a music performance major. Um, on to the next post, we have Julie Boston Casey with. Um, and looks like her family. She is in the stadium right now. Wow, she got wow, pretty early. Wow, she's there early. It's like, a, it's like, let me check my watch here. It's like an hour until kickoff. But um, hey, they're but, there. But yeah, nice it looks like they're early. having a good time. Um, 
I don't know why. I don't know who this guy is. Oh, oh, oh. never mind. But. Just, now we're on to Chris Rico. Uh huh. And it's Sal and Joey at Cortica Jug 2022 at Yankee Stadium. And look at Sal and Joey. Looks he like looks a, so happy. Uh, a happy pregame <laughs> photo with the pops. Um, I love wishing, it. Wishing the best here for for Joey and. And, and honestly, uh, for Sal, too. For Sal as well. Look yeah. at them. He's definitely a stressful father watching his son play oh, in, God. in Yankee Stadium, but, you know. It looks like they're just having so much fun. Honestly, I want to go. I want to go, too. <laughs> Yankee Stadium looks like it's fairly filling up. But, uh, um, but you know what? We're having our own fun right here in the studio. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and coming up, we have more in store. So, you know, let's, let's get right to it. Yeah. Again, make sure to spam messages using hashtag BombersGiveBack on all social medias. You could be featured on the show next time we check in. And it doesn't matter what you give. Remember, it's about how many people do. So, uh -huh. And remember, me it, when you're posting, me and Zawadi, are, we're open to compliments. Like We love we, compliments. We know that we're doing, we might we know not we're, be doing the best job. But just hype us up, hype you know? Us, it'll, make, it'll make us do an even better job. You so. know, that video of, you know, Joey and Sal just got me thinking about, like, just family and how family. Ithaca is a family and family. honestly, we have people whose family members went to Ithaca, and now they go. Uh -huh. And moving forward, I think it'd be good to keep a spotlight on on the alumni. Um, like, what? You I think completely so? agree. Yeah, I completely agree. Ithaca pride runs so deep, and I feel like everywhere I go and I'm wearing Ithaca merch, I get stopped, especially this weekend, mm -hmm. from all different graduating classes, and honestly, multiple generations at once. Yeah, same here. Even last night when we went to uh, the alumni event, um, an alumni came up to me and mentioned how she went here in 1989, and is now like her son is now a recent grad. Ah, that's so awesome. And we also got to sit down with a football alum whose daughter is a close friend of ours and mm -hmm. a current grad student here at Ithaca. And he had a ton of stories to share about his experience. So why don't we take a look at that? Yeah, let's go. Let's go take a look. My name is Dan Titus. I'm a 1999 graduate and a proud football alum. Um, I was recruited out of high school by a number of different schools, um, Ithaca College and Coach Butterfield and Coach Welch um, were the only coaches who told me uh, I wouldn't play on their team. So having grown up in an environment and played in an environment where we were ultimately challenged, um, that was a great challenge. You know, I've got a, a core group of guys that, uh, you know, that, that I communicate with regularly. You know, we, we schedule time outside of um, outside of the football season uh, to do things, and, and you know, we still have a deep friendship. You know, one that as we go through different life challenges, and you know, we're, we're there for one another, and um, we share in our successes as much as our challenges. It's super easy to support the school. You know, I mean, people say the best years and the best memories you'll have in your life are your collegiate years, and and I can absolutely agree. Um, you know, the memories that that we forged with those guys on that team, um, and this being the common theme, uh, really is what continues to bring us back. You know, we all tend to live for the glory days, and as we've gotten older, we live for the relationships. Your time here is short. The memories you have will be the memories you, the memories you make will be the memories you have for the rest of your life. Don't leave anything in the locker room. Be a bomber. Beat that ass. Oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> I love how strong the Ithaca legacy is. There are generations upon generations upon generations. Yeah. I, can, I can just keep going. <laughs> um, and it's so apparent. Like, I'm so proud to be a future IC alum. Oh, literally. I am too. I mean, if your family is a part of this legacy, make sure you tweet us and share your story at hashtag BombersGiveBack on Twitter. And while you're at it, might as well, you're going to be on your phone tweeting and stuff. Right. Might as well go to Google Chrome, go to Safari, whatever you use, giving.ithaca.edu. <laughs> And, and we got to keep President Cornish in blue. Keep her in blue. <laughs> exactly. So. so we also had the IC in the City Alumni Awards. And there were nine awards given to prestigious IC alumni for various different things. Um, and they were all honored for such amazing, amazing things. So first we have Samantha Shrell. And she graduated from Ithaca in 2012 with a Bachelor of Science in Chemistry. She received the Outstanding Young Alumni Award for her work in inorganic chemistry. Jeez. 
And then the Next up, oh. we, have, we have Dr. Michael Henderson from the class of 99, who won the Humanitarian Award, James J. Whalen Huma uh, Meritorious Service Award. For, um, I'm sorry. Dr. Henderson spent his personal time mentoring and tutoring at-risk boys um, and spent and a lot amazing. of time in Africa and Haiti. Ah, so then we have Reverend Dr. Carlos Perkins, um, class of 99. He also won the Humanitarian Alumni Award, and Reverend Perkins was awarded for his empowerment of God through the demonstration of the Holy Spirit. Good for him. Uh -huh. Lois Schofer, Ithaca College, class of 1967, was awarded Peggy Ryan Williams, um, who was honored with the James J. Whalen Meritorious Service Award. She is Ithaca's first female president and brought Ithaca to a new level of inclusivity, and that's amazing. Shelly Semler was also awarded the James J. Whalen Meritorious Service Award for her work in the field of advancement with both small and large institutions. Kimberly Cuts Lent, class of 91, um, was a student counselor at Paul Robertson High School for the community service in Philadelphia. And she was awarded the Professional Achievement Award. Another recipient of the Professional Achievement Award is Colonel Rich Ricardo Player, who became the first public affairs officer to achieve Colonel Command in the Marine Corps. Today, par the Park School grad is in charge of the headquarters and service teams supporting the Marine Training Depot at Paris Island, South Carolina. We also have Lois Schofer, uh, class of 1967, and she was awarded the Lifetime Achievement Award. She's been a longtime doctor and established a scholarship fund for students from IC to come to IC from community colleges. That is amazing. Yeah. Um, and then, last but definitely not least, the award of the night. Uh, award of the night was given to Mark Dicker, uh, class of 99. Mark received the Edgar Dusty Breadbender Jr. Class of 50 Distinguished Alumni Award. Mark has supported the college since his graduation, and Mark served on the IC Alumni Association Board of Directions, among other alumni board positions. Um, so. Wow, all those alums are incredible. I, you know, I hope that when I become an alum, I just am th that. Yeah, you know, moving, I think honestly, all of them <laughs> did, did, like all those alumni, they are more than deserving of all those awards, but thinking about the awards and, and our legacy that we're going to leave, what about the Cortica Giving Challenge Host Alumni Award? Something I to, think we deserve that. I think, I think we're doing an amazing job. Yeah, something to keep in mind <laughs> for the alumni board of directors or whoever. I mean, 100%. I mean, this show, this goes to show how great of a community we have and honestly, truly how great it is to be a bomber. Yeah, I know. Oh, I love so, being a bomber. Now it's time for a little bit of bomber trivia. Oh, see, okay. See, see if the bomber's <laughs> got the big brains uh, like all of us do. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to talk to a bunch of students around the Ithaca campus to test uh, their knowledge about campus. And you guys should play along at home and tweet us if you have the correct or wrong answers. You know, mm -hmm. we love to see it. We love them. At hashtag bombers give back. Yeah, make a little game with yourself. Whoever you're watching, your, your mom, your dad, your cat even, maybe, your dog. They, maybe they know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and answer the questions online, giving, and also, you know, giving.ifigo.edu. Let's, let's check it out. <laughs> let's roll it. We have a beautiful campus here at Ithaca College, and it is in large part thanks to the generous donations and endowments from alumni. Um, everything from buildings to benches, uh, you know, is made possible by a lot of alumni that really care. We're going to be playing a game called So You Think You Know Campus. We're going to show students, current students, that are here in IC Square a super zoomed in picture of some campus location, and we're going to see how quickly uh, they can name it. They walk by these things every day. How much are they picking up? Let's find out. Let's go in three, two, one. Dillingham Building. Dillows. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, those are flowers, David, I believe. Those are flowers. Um, by the fountain somewhere? Yes, yeah. this is landscaping <laughs> right outside the fountains. Are those, those aren't the flowers in front of Dillingham, no. The flowers that are outside of the fountains. I Look at you go. Um, oh my gosh, is that the fountains? That is the flowers there by the go. fountains. Oh, okay. You know, which is by Dillingham. It is by Dillingham, that's true. Wow, that's, that's a good one. Okay, let's see the first one, three, two, one. Where is this? Job. Job hall. No. What is that building called? The the exacto knife in the sky. What is that building called? PRW, Peggy Ryan Williams? Mm, not quite. Big windows. 
Okay. That is the Athletic and Events Center. Athletic and Events Center. And it looks like an exacto knife. But right? I'll take it because Thank you. I think it, or a utility knife, like a box cutter. Right, right. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's the A and E Center. That's yeah. the A and E Center. That's the spire <laughs> okay. on the A and E Center. Alrighty. I'd like to talk to the architect that made that building. Like what was in his mind? Why that specific shape? It, it's an odd shape, but it's a cool shape. It is. I like when it lights up at night. Where is this, Alex? Oh, is that the AD Center? Oh my God! Right on. Here we go. Right out of the gate. Right. That is the spire. I I appreciate that you are making a lot of guesses because um, one of them's got to be correct. One right? of them's got to be correct. Three, two, one. Where is this? Oh my gosh. Um, where is this? <laughs> um, oh, this is uh, the texture ball, right? Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, 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 yeah. <laughs> Too late. I'm still gonna get that one. Oh, library. It's, it's, it's at the consent center. Wait, it is the library. Oh. I first learned how to ride my bike there. Really? Yeah. Is that very true? Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. Right there on that corner. Oh, that's the library. There we go. Look at you go. Yeah, three for three. Wow. Three for three. <laughs> uh, thank you so much yeah. for playing with us, thank Alex. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. And we're going to send it back to the studio. Whoa, that was that was like harder than than I expected it to be. I thought I knew campus pretty well, but I mean, guess not. So And there's a um, ton of students that should be donating right now. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> but speaking of students donating, mm-hmm. why don't we go see what they had to say when they were put on the spot about it? Telethon. What am I supposed to say? Cortica. Dragons aren't real. Everyone knows that. Donating money because I love my school. I was down to my last two dollars. Go bombers! 20 degrees out here, and I'm not wearing any gloves. Donate today to Cortland. I mean, Ithaca. I mean... Um... Hey, look. It's Cortland. <laughs> Let's go get some more donations, baby. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Are you planning on going to Cortica? I am Cortica. <laughs> Are you going to Cortica, sir? No, I'm not. Are you planning on donating to the alumni fund? I always do. I always have, continue to do. If you have it, share it. That's what I always say too. Thank you, Goza. Excuse me, guys. Are you on the football team? Yeah. Are you hyped for Cortica? Hell yeah. Are you going to be donating to the Ithaca Alumni College Fund? You give me that dollar. Nah. <laughs> Boom. Now where I, where How much I, are you going to donate? A dollar. dollar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's go, Thanks, bombers. boys. We're out here at Ithaca College today asking people, are dragons real? Sir, have you ever seen a dragon? Uh, yes. But, um, not on this campus. Have you ever seen a red dragon? <sighs> you, sir. Hello. Have you ever seen a dragon before? I have. Where did you see it? I saw one yesterday. Was it red? It was green. There we go. That's yeah. what I thought. Cortland doesn't exist. There are no red dragons in the entire world. Wow, students are they're pretty quick on their oh, feet yeah. with, with the <laughs> questions, but for real guys, there's so many organizations that on campus that could really benefit from your donation. So um, I think now we should we should hear some like from some students on Ithaca's campus and see like where they think your money should go. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for fitting. <laughs> yeah, thank you. When you're donating to a scholarship, you're donating to someone's time at Ithaca College, and you're ensuring that their time at Ithaca is as beneficial and fruitful as it was when alumni were here. I studied abroad last semester at the spring of my junior year in Barcelona, Spain, and as a Spanish minor, this was a no-brainer for me. I had always wanted to study abroad, and Barcelona just seemed to be the best place to do it. When you donate to these scholarship programs, like the Leadership Scholar Program, you are directly helping students like me just continue our leadership experience, and it really just helps us as we grow out of Ithaca College community and further on into our lives. As for our donors, I think that in any way, shape, or form that you can contribute to keeping the Study Abroad Program um, alive and what it is today, that would be incredible just because I think that so many other students at IC deserve to have the opportunities that I've had through this program. Like, really is considered donating to the Leadership Scholar Program. It is seriously one of the best parts of my anthropology experience, and I am so blessed to be a part of it, and I want it to be something that's going to sustain itself for years to come. So please, please donate and donate to the Leadership Scholar Program. 
That was really moving. It's great to see people talking about how their scholarships has impact, have impacted them. I mean, I know from personal experience as an MLK scholar, like I understand the generosity that the alumni have mm -hmm. to be able to, you know, honestly go to college like, yeah. so that we can go to college. So. That's Remember awesome. So <laughs> yeah, so please go go to Ithaca or giving.ithaca.edu, excuse me, um, now and just make anything, anything, five dollar minimum, just to get on the board, um, and, and you, you can make a difference. Anything counts. <laughs> We also accept more. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> you know, we've been talking a lot about this giving challenge and our students and stuff. But I'm kind of wondering how that team is doing at Stan's Bar, you know? It's oh been a while. Oh, my God. I bet it's getting pretty crazy over there as we creep closer to game at time. This, at this point, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's getting crazy. Good call, Zawadi. <laughs> so let's send it over to Nicole, see what she's up to, see if she's found any characters wandering the streets of New York. Um, <laughs> and we'll stand by with some, some quick fire trivia with Nicole. Hi, my name is Christina and I'm here with Nicole, Joelle, Patrick. All right, and we're playing Sip Trivia. The rules are if you get one, if you get one right, you get a point. If you get one wrong, however, they have to take a sip. All right, first question. What is the area code that both Ithaca and Cortland share? 607. They got it right. All right. One point. What is the name of the student-run television station? Oh, ICTV, of course! Yeah. Great run program, great job. All right. All right, in 2011, hold on, we're gonna hold for the train. We're gonna hold for the train. All right, in 2011, there was a campaign to change the mascot. What did the mascot almost become? The Flying Squirrels. Yes, Whoa! oh my god! Yeah! That sucks, that sucks. And last question, I introduced myself at the beginning of this segment. What is my name? Christina! Christina! Yeah! yeah! And now we're gonna throw it back to you, Zawadi. Oh my god, that was so fun. I especially love the part where Nicole, where Nicole turned into Christina. Yeah. That was uh, really that awesome. Was, yeah, that was great. But those questions were honestly really hard. Uh huh. Yeah, to be honest, I don't think I would have gotten half of those right. Mm -hmm. um, but good thing I don't need to drink. So, uh, so true. Uh -huh. <laughs> we are in the same boat. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to... I'm gonna leave you here for a oh, second, Zawadi. Okay. I'm, gonna know, go, I'm gonna go I'll take a, another, give everyone another little update on the, on the ticker check. All right, yeah, so, yeah, as we look. head over here, <laughs> It's just me this time. I feel lonely in this oh. in this big space. Just me. But guys, look at this. No progress. What is going on? Have have we not been sending the right message? We need to get our score up. We're down by what is it? Nine? I'm not the best at math, but yeah, it's nine. So we're down by nine. Um, and we seriously need some more. This this is this is not it. Um, we're losing, and you guys know what to do. Giving .ithaca.edu. I'm gonna head back. I, I, Zawadi, I miss you already. Uh, come I on need back. to get. I need to get back over. Come here. on back. What is you going know, on? Come on. It was so lonely just sitting here yeah, with I know, no one. I know. <laughs> so, um, uh, well, yeah. let's. Speaking of speaking of missing you. Ah, uh, you know. I'm kind of in my feels right now. Um, <laughs> like, I'm like I'm kind of in my feels. Really? Yeah. Why are you in your feels right so, now? So let's hold on. I'm gonna take a little step back. Like, okay. look at what we're doing right now. We're literally hosting a live stream to promote the Cortica Giving Challenge, we engage are. IC alums, and like this experience is just insane. Uh, I mean, seriously, I mean, I guess we never had the chance to take all of this in. I know. Like, let's, can we have a, a quick moment of silence and yeah. just really just embrace everything here? Okay, that's enough. All right. But seriously, this yeah. experience is something that not only us, but any Ithaca College student can proudly boast about. For us Parkies, we've been getting hands-on experience from day one. Literally, I, I thought it was just like a whole marketing thing, you know, <laughs> hands-on equipment day one, come to Ithaca College, but you know, um, I couldn't be happier with all the opportunities I've had as an Ithaca student preparing me for graduation and my job, like my career. Uh, like you said, we're literally hosting a live stream right now in Bronx Community College. And how, how much more hands-on and, and legit can it get than this? Yeah. I mean, our alumni are watching. We're part of Chrissy Guest Live event class. So hit us up <laughs> for internships or job opportunities. Yeah. <laughs> um, so if you're just tuning in, um, like the, our, our whole little spiel here, um, <laughs> You know, this is the Cortica Giving Challenge. We need all of you to to uh, 
thing and go to giving.ithaca.edu minimum of five dollars maximum of honestly whatever you want to give mm -hmm. and you know it's not about how much you give it's about the amount of people we have donating it's get involved it's bombers we all love to hang out we all love to get involved yeah so <laughs> through alumni donations and support there are a wide variety of scholarships and available to students for all kind of things. Mm -hmm. um, so let's take a moment to. I want, like, I have a, I have a friend. Mm, a Everybody friend. in IC knows this kid. He's the most Alex Schwobel. Ah. Let's take a minute um, and give a little spotlight to, to Schwobes, Alex Schwobes, and to his story. And you know. I personally know the Ithaca College water boy, you mm -hmm. know, and he's amazing. He's been all over doing so many different things and just it's been amazing. So we're really excited and you know, we might even get a chance to have him here, but that's that's for a little bit later. Yeah. But you know, it's uh, Okay, you know what? I just wait, hold on, what? Oh, okay. This just in. This just in. Okay. We're going to have to come back to the water boy. He's, uh, he's super busy right that now. That is a story for later. That is a story for later. He's yeah. super busy right now because, you know, it is the Cortica jug after all. Okay. He's honestly filling water bottles right now, so he's not going to make yeah, it. But you know who we can talk to? Fair enough. Who? Some of our, you know, international students. Mm -hmm. We have a ton of people just all over, all over the world. And, you know, London is one of those places. London. And we do have connects all the way over there. And you know, I am actually going to London next semester. You're going to London? I am. Zawadi. What? I was telling you I miss you, but I am going to London as well. No Let's way. take a look at our London. Hello, Ithaca College, and happy giving day. My name is Julia Guest, and I'm currently studying abroad in London. Thanks to the Ithaca College London Center, I'm able to study here for a semester. So please consider donating today to support students like me chasing dreams all the way in Europe. Um, have a great rest of giving day and as always, go Bombers! Oh my yeah. god, London looks so fun. But you know where our other, we have some other students? Do we have other students? We have other students. We have many other students as a matter of fact. And. So yeah, we just te checked in with the London people, but another location of a huge, huge mm -hmm. hotspot for Ithaca College students. Specifically Parkies. More specifically Parkies. Mm -hmm. Los Angeles. The Los Angeles um, semester abroad. It's pretty kind much of. a rite of passage here. Yeah. So why don't we toss it over to LA and see yeah, what we have, we have going there. on over there. Yeah, we'll see what's going on. What's up, Bombers? This is Kayla Cranmer coming to you from the Elbow Room in downtown Hollywood, California. It is That looks that looks uh, like serious fun out there. I'm I'm kind of jealous. I kind of am too, but mm -hmm. you know we're still having so much fun right here in New York City. Yeah, so uh, you know why don't why don't we head back over to Stan? Speaking of New York City, we're, we're here. <laughs> we'll let the Londoners, we'll let the LA people, we'll let them have their fun. We have fun at this time. We so. might as well <laughs> take advantage of our own time. We're we're here. Whatever they're. Time ahead, time before, whatever. whatever. I don't know how the time zones work, but let's let's go back to Stan's bar. See how either Nicole or Christine are doing. It's Nicole, I'm back at Stan's Bar with some Ithaca friends, and we're here to ask some more questions. So what are your guys' names? Julie. Gracie. James. Maggie. So, first question, be creative with it. Ithaca is blank. Gorgeous. Real creative, I love it. Wow. <laughs> Slaying. Silly. Cornica. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, if you had to describe Cortland in one word, what would you say? Stupid. Smelly. Dumb. <laughs> Disgusting.
crafting. <laughs> We're getting real creative over here. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Who would you say if if the professors had to play in Cortica? Who do you think would score the winning touchdown? What professor? Oh, Dan Breen, dramatic literature. He would score every touchdown. He would win the Cortica for us. He would bring us that Cortica jug. Dan Breen. Mark Weinberg. Mark Weinberg. Yeah. I'm going to say Scott Hamrill. He's pretty athletic, apparently. I can see that. Gosa all the way. I, I agree with that. I agree. I agree. Okay. You have 10 seconds to say anything to Cortland that you want. What are you going to say? You suck. Why are you guys so mean? Why are you so mean? I don't, to say. I don't know. I can't wait to take our jug back. Woo! Woo! So we're going to go back to Connor and Tawadi in the studio. Thank you, guys. <laughs> wow, it is really getting rowdy over there. Oh, yeah. I love to see our Ithaca alums having fun, but... Mm -hmm. You know, unfortunately, we do have to throw it over to Stouts to see where the Cortland alums are. Yeah, to I mean, it's only up. fair, so let's send it over to see how Gabe's doing over there. Hey, young lady, young lady, excuse me. Would you be willing to talk for us? <laughs> what are we talking about? Would you be willing to talk for us for just a moment? Yeah, of course. Are you going to the Cortica game tomorrow? Yes, I am. And are you excited? I'm looking forward to it. And are you giving to the uh, Cortland al uh, alumni fun? I did already. You did already? Yeah, of course. How much did he donate? $25. What about 50? How about 25? What about 75? 25. What about 100? $25. What about 1,000? $25. Go Bombers. Go Cortland. Yeah. So I understand we're getting a gift from a Cortland native. Absolutely. I'm not a Cortland native, but I'm a Cortland alum. A Cortland alum. And uh, what do you have for me? We give them a koozie because we're so proud. That is so sweet. I enjoy it. Thank you so much. Association, you ready? Yeah. Cortland. Red Dragons. Ithaca. Suck. Bombers. Who? Bombers. Bombers? I guess that's Ithaca. <laughs> Corlin. Again. Gonna win tomorrow. Red Dragons. Great. House of the Dragons, the famous HBO TV show. Never heard of it. <laughs> Neither have we. <laughs> Wow, that was really awesome. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, but honestly, you know, I'm really struggling with the fact that we have live Cortland representation in the studio right now. Yeah, um, since he came in, the atmosphere has seriously just dampened the, the mood. Oh. Like, I, I don't know if I want to continue. Um, but that's like always the case with Professor Pete Johans. You know, as most people know, Ithaca's one of Ithaca's most well-known professors and one of Cortland's most well-known traders is one of our TV professors, Peter Johans. I guess that through his four years at Cortland, like he, he just naturally had to come over to us um, every year for the Cortica Jug. Professor Pete Johans, Johans makes a beat, makes a, I'm sorry, I'm stumbling over my words. No, Pete is over there it's making faces at me. I can't words. do this. Uh, yeah. Get out. But he <laughs> makes he makes bets with his students every year um, to see it, like if Cortland lose the, if the, Cortland loses, the Cortica. What he has to do. He has to do some crazy stuff. So let's see what he has to do. Hi, I'm Christina, and I'm Nicole, and today you're going to learn about the ASP bet with Peter Johans. Peter is a Cortland alum, turned TikTok star, turned professor. TikTok star is more of his thing, he really tries to convince us he's a TikTok star, I'm pretty sure he bought his followers. Didn't you hear that? I did. Every year for the annual Cortica game between SUNY Cortland and Ithaca College, I make a bet with my advanced television studio production students. If Cortland wins, then they have to sing the Cortland alma mater, and I record that each year. And if the off chance that Ithaca wins, then I would typically agree to do something stupid. <laughs> He makes some questionable choices, I must say. He is a very questionable person. Pete Johans is a crazy man with a crazy influence. So um, check out these students who have testimonials on just how he teaches in the classroom. And let's just say, very questionable. Very questionable. 
Um, yeah, I TA for Pete, and he's a horrible boss. I mean, he's like constantly telling me to just not log hours that I like actually work. So. It's literally in his syllabus. The man is smelling paints after 9:30. I mean, I, what, what, are we, what are we doing? What are we doing? I don't know. Pete is not one of my role models. I, I feel like I I am his role model actually. You know, half the time he comes to class, he's severely inebriated. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, I don't think he really understands what's at stake here. He definitely doesn't. Who knows what he's thinking? Who knows what's going through that little brain of his? I don't know what they teach them over at Cortland. So, this year, I am anticipating another Cortland victory. Ah! Pete, take this as a threat. You're gonna lose. And there's no shot. Corlin is actually gonna go get away with the dubs. Definitely doesn't understand what's going on. Ithaca is so much better than Corlin. Have, Way better. have you seen the campuses? Ithaca's gonna win. And we all know that, but Pete doesn't know that for some reason. This man desperately needs to be humbled. So I think if the football players aren't doing it for the game, they should do it to watch Pete struggle. Wow, Pete is truly crazy. What a goofy I'm... guy. <laughs> he is, he, he's a character. I don't know how he manages to outdo himself every year. Yeah, um, but behind the scenes, it was revealed to us what this year's bet <gasps> is going to be. Ooh. So, if Cortland lose the Cortica Jug, Pete Johans will, his students, I'm sorry, will be able to fill five buckets With of anything Home that they Depot choose. buckets of any liquid of their choosing. To we dump have, on him. Yeah, to dump <laughs> on him. We have an inside scoop uh, connection with his wife. She yes. tells us that he hates pineapple juice, he, he hates, hates coffee. coffee. So, so all those of his are favorite some options. things will be there. And yeah. We're very excited. I mean, he must torturing himself. Like, you cannot pay me enough money to do half those things. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, and one thing that I know is I'm not singing like the Corland alma mater. So mm -mm. we better win today. But remember, the game isn't the only way that we can beat Cortland. You're so right. We also have the giving challenge. Yeah. We Should we take a look at our progress? Yeah. I'm going to head over you to the go. board again. They like, they like you to go. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave, I'll I'm leave you again. All but right. uh, Yeah, no, it's fine. We'll do this. All right, guys. <laughs> Woo! This, we're making some progress here. Um, looks like Cortland haven't made a donation in a bit, but we've made one. So yeah, that's that's pro any progress is progress, and we love to see that. Um, so we're catching up slowly but surely. Um, we're still eight. We have an eight point deficit to Cortland, so we need to pick that up. Seriously, um, me and Zawadi are hoping that we are. Uh, we can we can make it easier for you guys to donate. So I'm gonna come back up. Oh, never mind. I forgot about the, the post. <laughs> Looks like you guys are active on the on the hashtag Bombers Give Back, back hashtag. So here we've got Julie C Cestito. Um, she's with a group of her fr friends. Looks like it's uh, Stan's Bar over there. So she's doing great. These girls with two bomber blue hearts. Um, She's having a great time over there, Stan's bar. Looks like the energy is 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 going. Um, here we have Kay Shinkoda, um, nice family picture. Bomber generations upon generations hanging out, doing their thing at Yankee Stadium. It looks busy. And here is Deji Dosimo. I, I'm sorry if I mispronounced that, but him and his friend, girlfriend maybe, I don't know, partner, um, they're having a, a good time in Yankee Stadium as well. They've got drinks in hand and they're doing well with their uh, with their seats. It looks like looks like they got the pride. And here, someone double fist and love to see that. She was definitely at stand sipping <laughs> with the, uh, the the trivia and double fist and keeping it going in Yankee Stadium. So that's awesome. And we also have the man himself, <laughs> David Boreanis over here, um, posing, giving the little, what's up guys, giving the little sign with these two cool dudes in their Ithaca merch um, with two other, um, oh, this is actually Mr. Michael Henderson, Dr. Michael Henderson, the winner of the Humanitarian Award. Um, it's great to see all the alums. Um, wow. Linking up and you know just having that was amazing. Thanks, I could Hawaii. not have done it better. Um, I'm, I'm kind of losing it. I'm rambling, no, but honestly, you know we've been here for so long. You know we oh haven't gotten God. any sleep the last few days. No, but you know I think it's time that we hype ourselves up a little bit. Okay, I like I like that. I like that idea. Our like... live event class has been working so so hard uh -huh. to put on this show for you guys. And yeah, I don't know about you, but. I feel like we've been on some sort of world tour with every, you know, where we've been going. I mean, it definitely has felt like that. Um, I was looking at some photos um, and I thought about how Cortica creates memories that, that last a lifetime. You're so right. And speaking of memories, oh, you know what? Speaking of memories, we're going to take our very own selfie right here and oh, we're yeah? going to put it 
on the hashtag. On the hashtag. Bombers give Let's back. Go, so this is the moment. This is, you're witnessing. You're witnessing live, live memory stuff. making. Whoa. Oh, man, I mean. That's a, that's a great one. You that's know, a great Bronx selfie. Community College. Send that to cut. me. Oh, oh, I will. But right you know, you'll see it on right. the hashtag Bombers. I'll see it. Uh, I'll, yeah, I'll see it on the hashtag. Uh, so use the hashtag Bombers Give Back on social media to be featured on our live stream. But you know what? Let's take it back a little bit to that map we had Yeah. to just show where else our group has been. Yeah, yeah. So we, we only got to Thursday uh, last time yeah. we checked the map. So we have a few more days. Now let's let's pick it back up. Let's so see. Now we're still on Friday. On Love Friday. Friday. What do we do? Friday, oh yes, the technical test. You know, we have to test this to make sure that everything works smoothly. Uh -huh. And I, if you know, if I do say so myself, I think it's going pretty I think well. It's, I think it's going smoothly. Oh, yeah. It looks like we did a pretty good technical test. Uh -huh, that's um, what it seems like. After our technical test, we headed over to a group of us, um, went to the Marriott Marquis for interviews. Uh, we love interviews. Uh -huh. And then there was a whole editing team that was at the Hilton in Newark Friday, like editing all day. All these packages I honestly that don't you're even seeing. know how they do it. Everything that you're seeing right now was there. Yep. Oh my gosh, look at all this, like so all, all over the city. Wow, all Ugh. three simultaneously happening. Who were, who were the production coordinators? I, <laughs> who were they? I don't who know. were they? Actually, I don't know. we know who they do were. Do we know who they David were? David Tesca, Lauren oh, Mitchell, shout out to them. Shout out to them. Coordinating everything that Amazing. this whole class is doing. I love to, I love to see it. You know, it they is had just, us all up and through the city. No, it is, it is unbelievable what Cars. They pulled off what we pulled off. And, and now, now for today. Live show. Live show, right Bronx now. Community College. This is this is our crew. November this is where 12, we are. We are here right now. We also have our but team have, yes. at Stan's Bar. You know? Look how close that is Look to Yankee Stadium. That, Look how close oh they my, are. Even, and they're there more right jealous. now. Along with them, we have our friend Gabe, who's friend over Gabe. At, Stout, at Stout Bar NYC. And honestly, oh, we have a team at the Marriott Marquis also filming. A can't, Dean skit. There's just so much going on today. Yeah, we're gonna see. We're gonna take a look at that Dean skit later. Oh uh, yes, we are. I mean, I, ho I hope they get it done in time because we uh, really need that to know. to air I with know. us because that would be that would be awesome. Uh, but our editing team is amazing. Oh my god, yeah. So <laughs> we're just hoping for the best there. And God, we really have a. Uh, we really we're have. We're doing a, amazing. We're like one big happy family. Like, everyone in here is amazing. Yeah. Everyone in the control room. Oh, so proud. So happy. So happy to be a part of this. Uh huh. But you know. You know, you know, we are yeah. still here, and I'm just so yeah. excited. So, so speaking of uh, speaking of our classmates, our classmates and stuff, yes, we have our classmates to stand. So let's let's send it back over let's there. Send it back over. Nicole, Christina. Whoever it seems it like it seems like they're they're interchanging the the mic. So it I think like it. it should be Christina now. But, but if it's not, it might not be. Then it might be Nicole. We'll see. Live TV. There's nothing like it. Yep. And welcome back to Stan's Bar. I'm Christina, and I'm here with. Jill Baker, Sonia Joshi, AJ, Erica, Mark. All right, and we're going to start some Ithaca College SIP trivia. Yes. The rules are if you get it right, you get a point. If you get it wrong, you have to take a sip. All right, I'm going to start with the first question. Previously known as South Hill Field, what is the name of Ithaca College's home field? Butter. Butter milk. Butter. Butter milk. Butter milk. Butterfield Stadium. Butterfield Stadium. And that is correct. Yeah. <laughs> that, was a, that was a team effort. That was a team effort. Um, what? Ready for your next question? What is the name of the current Ithaca College president? Sure, Terry Corden. And that is correct. All right. Last. Last question. Last question. I introduced myself at the beginning of the segment. What is my name? Um, I, I, for the, Jess. Jess. <laughs> it's Christina. All you take a sip. I'm Jill. I'm Jill. You were close. You were close. I'm Jill. All right. Christina. Yes. All right. <laughs> we are all set to go. Take it. Take it away, Zawadi. Let's go. Oh, that was great. That was so fun. Gotta love hearing from them. See, you know, it I looks, love to it looks see busy. It. The energy's getting like higher and higher. So. Yeah, I'm gonna leave you again. Oh, jeez, yeah, this is getting out of hand. I know. I, I mean, we have a lot of Should posts. Should I just leave? We have a lot of posts on the hashtag <laughs> Bombers Give Back um, Instagram thing. So let's check the ticker first. Of course. No way. You guys are killing it. Whoa. Like, out of nowhere. One point deficit for the amount of donors, 640 Cortland to 639. Love to see it, but we need to get out in front. Bombers, come on. 639 is not nearly enough. We need 1,280 or whatever 
I'm I, that's kind of close to, to double. So we need more. Let's take a look at our um, at our social media hashtag. Um, this is Nicholas Bogo Burrows, um, and he tweeted: Could this year's Cortica Jug, the legendary football rivalry between SUNY Cortland and Ithaca College, be one of the best matchups ever? Nicholas, I think yes. I think it could be. <laughs> so at uh, at my CFCU community um, community credit union, um, they tweeted the biggest little game in the nation: Ithaca College Bombers and SUNY Cortland Red Dragons duke it out in one of the greatest rivalry games in college football. Go teams! And lastly, at Mike Schaefer says, 20 years ago, I was producing a broadcast of Cortica. Today, I'm streaming the game while shopping at Costco. Life comes at you fast, but it should be a great day. Indeed, it is a great day to be a bomber. And Mr. Schaefer, I hope you're watching our stream because I know that you said you're streaming, so you <laughs> might as well be here uh, being an IC alum and all. And You know, this just in, I hear we have a great video to show you guys. Mm -hmm. But before that, we're just going to talk a little bit, just for those who are just tuning in, who don't know what the Cortica Giving Challenge is, do you want to explain it? Sure, I'll explain it. Yes. Yeah, so the Cortica Giving Challenge, um, Ithaca College, we are tasked with raising more money and getting more donors mm -hmm. than Cortland because there is a challenge yes. set between the two presidents, so our president Cornish and Cortland's president, yes. whoever they are. Um, <laughs> and whoever loses, the other president has to wear the, the, other, the other school's merch for an entire week. And honestly, I've talked, we've all talked, to President Cornish, and red is not her favorite thing. She red despises is red. She despises red, so we don't want to make we don't want to make her wear something that she despises. Yep. So we need to not only beat Cortland on the field later today, but we got to beat them in the Cortica Giving Challenge. So go to giving.ithaca.edu, donate a minimum of five dollars, mm -hmm. um, and you know, honestly, you can send as much as you want. Like we're not going to stop you from sending as much yep. as you want. Yeah. Um, but yes. So. So. Um, oh, I mean, Cornish is. Yeah. I was just talking about her mother. It, it's, right looking, now. it's looking oh, crazy. God, it it's, so super, it's super exciting. Um, and the challenge is just, it's uh, only getting started. It's only getting started. We still have so much time. And yeah. remember, this goes until tomorrow night. So you don't have to worry about it. But just donate as much as you can. We yeah. want as many people. Uh -huh. um, so I hear we have some more GeoGuessr content. GeoGuessr. Yeah, we do. So let's send so it back over love to the campus. Game. Yeah, let's send it back over to campus and see what's going on. We're in IC Square seeing how well current students know the campus. Where is this? Um, I'm thinking it's like some sort of rock. I'm thinking it could be texture ball. Uh, texture ball. Nope. No. <laughs> Where is this? I have no idea. What is that? Bark. It's my bark. Also incorrect. <laughs> Oh, okay. So that's the staircase by the, yep, on the way up to terraces. Actually, fun fact, I took a walk. I, I used to walk up those stairs every day last semester because I lived in terraces. I, oh, it's the staircase by Whalen, is it not? Yes, that is the Baker walkway staircase. Um, the, the classic way up to terraces. Um, I'm surprised I didn't know that, but I mean, <laughs> now I do. And let's look at one more. That's the fishbowl. The fishbowl. Now... Oh, the, the the texture ball. Yes. I've heard people call it the fishbowl. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is that its name? Do you know? I, I don't, but that's what I've that's what I've heard it as. So that's kind of what I just associate it with. Three, two, one. Texture ball. Look at that. People have been getting texture ball real quick. And Carolina, where is this? Oh, oh, oh. That's the that's the ball outside of um, Price. Look at that. That is the oh, texture ball. Texture ball. Um, iconic campus location. I think yeah. everybody knows the texture ball. Connor, where is this? This is this has to be some sort of carpet. It's a carpet from somewhere. Well, it's a carpet. I would assume it's either in Emerson Suites or oh, it's in the uh, yeah, it's in the Dillingham. Oh my God, the Dillingham. I've been there too many times. I love the place there. Yeah. Um. Oh no, it's the carpet from Dillingham, from the entryway by the theater. Yep, the iconic red lobby carpet of Dillingham. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Imba. And we are gonna send it back to the studio. 
Well, that was another rendition of GeoGuessr, and I love that our students, including myself, you saw me. I saw you. You saw me you there. Ate it up. Yeah, me and, my, me and my nice little jacket. You know, it's, it gets cold here. It's so, cold. Yeah, so gotta wear, gotta wrap up. But um, hopefully, our students are learning more about campus. I definitely did, because oh, I'm learning so much from just watching them now. For sure. Oh my goodness. Yeah. But, you know, we also have a bunch of alumni that mm -hmm. are watching this right now. And speaking of alumni, why don't we throw it to stands for a little bit more of Take a Sip. Yet to again. With either Nicole or Christina. Surprise us. Let's find out. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> hey, guys, we're back, and we're going to ask some alumni some questions. So I'm here with Kelly, Taylor. And so first question is, if you could say anything to Cortland right now, what would you say? Cortland sucks so bad that they don't even have their own mascot. I thought we were playing Oneonta. And so if there was an Ithaca fight club between professors, what professor would win? Um, Hillary Greenberger would win against John Winslow. A hot take. <laughs> what would you say your worst day of your entire college career was? The day I found out that uh, two weeks of spring break in 2020 was not going to be two weeks. <laughs> uh, yeah. So what would you say is your Ithaca establishment of choice that you like to frequent the most? My establishment. Um, I love the CHS Cafe. It's gotten me through some tough times. Okay, if you had to describe Cortland in one word, what would you say? Describe Cortland in one word? Yes. Rude. They're rude. <laughs> they are. I'm nice. They're they're a little rude. And you know, I'm sure there's some good eggs in there, but like on the whole, you're you've been rude to me. <laughs> if you had to predict the game, what would you say is gonna happen? Um, I don't know the score, but Ithaca's gonna win. <laughs> exactly. And then our last question. If you had to make up a song right now about Ithaca, how would it go? Ithaca forever. This is our, this is our um, alumni song, I think. Yeah, yeah. Your tower's high up on Yankee Stadium. We are the reason that we're playing here. Thank you guys so much. We're gonna go back to Sawadi and Connor in the studio. Ah oh, man, you can tell that they're having so much fun over there. Yeah, I love they really it. Are. The, like the vibes over there seem so fun. Like I just, I want to be there. Good atmosphere and all. <laughs> it, it, looks, it looks insane. It looks insane. So um, we wanted to to kind of show yeah. you all a few photos of, of yeah. what we've been up to. A little behind the scenes action, but we do have a video full of behind the scenes stuff that's coming for you later. But later on, why don't we give them a little sneak peek of what we've been up to? Sneak peek. I like that. <laughs> I like that idea. Let's see what we got here. So, um, we, we, oh, we, all oh, the, this, is, this is me and a few students, and... Uh, this is us sitting outside waiting to drive to the city Thursday night. Uh-huh, this is our, uh, our class getting an MLB, MLB studio tour. tour. That's a whole set right there. It was very exclusive, I loved it. We've been doing a bunch of interviews, like, just with everyone. Uh-huh, at the... Alumni at, awards, at the alum MTD. MTD event, I got the chance to speak with an alumni, and oh. we were filming the yes. awards oh, as well. Yes, we were. Um, oh, man, and look at all of us. We're so cute. Look at us, one big happy family. One big happy family, put this all together. I'm yeah, so proud of us. But I know. So am I. You know, so, it's that time again. It's that time. Gotta send you Hate off. to leave you, but uh, I mean, uh, gotta do my job. You're having fun. Go. I'll see you go, in a sec. Go. <laughs> okay. So, I know I'm coming here like every three seconds, but um, I don't mind this. We haven't made much progress, but I mean, this is fair. We got, we're tied right now. 642 is 642. Um, Cortica, I mean, I'm sorry. Cortland, 642, and Ithaca, 642. Not much more else I can say besides what I've been saying this whole time. Giving.ithaca.edu, $5 minimum to get your name on the board. Just $5 and you'll bring us up to 643, and then Cortland, they'll stay at their, their pity little 642. So we're back with the updates and the latest tweets. Um, here we have at more orange tweeting, very cool to have Ithaca grad Bruce Beck calling the Cortica Jug game today on Yes Network. As we mentioned earlier, he was he's going to be calling the game alongside two students um, broadcasting on the Yes Network. Um, next up, we have at Nick Tutrici tweeting that Cortica has turned into a reunion. Um, we've, we've seen that all the people are, are, are hanging out, all the alumni, endless, endless uh, things. And yeah, we have a, another nice photo here. And that's, I mean, that's pretty much it. It's awesome. Like, it's so cool to see everybody 
in their element, in their Zelotti. You're, just, you're getting too good at this. Zelotti. You're getting too good at this. I'm loving this hype up right now. You're you're yeah, really... As I do. But God, we're a lot closer right now. We're a lot now. closer right now. And as you can see, there's uh -huh. another chair here. And I think you might have mentioned something about this. Oh. Is this our I special I know what guest? you're getting on, dude. I might have <laughs> I might have been over at the board, but I know exactly what you're talking about. If I hope I hope you guys know what I'm talking about as well. Know. Alex Schwobel. Uh, I was talking about him earlier. Ithaca Everyone knows this guy. You think a college water boy? We have a video to share. Yeah. Uh, look oh, at him bro. right here in the studio. Oh my god, you're here wow, already. Wow, wow, wow. But you know what? I'm Let's here. take a look at your Before video. Before we talk first. to you, we're, we're gonna we're gonna Let's roll it. Let's do it. Of course, well, my name is Alexander Schwobel. I am a television and digital media major here at Ithaca College. And just my passion, just my goal in life is to be a water boy. Just going out on the field. You know what? I really pride myself in, in just filling up waters. It's been a lot of hard work, but it's been very rewarding. You know, how's training going? Well, it's been going great. I mean, I have a great coach. Very positive attitude, you know, pushing me every day. Like, I can already see I'm getting better. So we're not we're not rolling right now, are we? No, no, camera's off. Camera's off. Okay, yeah, he's terrible. He's he's probably one of the worst water boys I've ever seen in my life, honestly. I... <laughs> what does water mean to me? <laughs> A little fun fact to you. Do you know that 85% of the body is made of water? Yeah. So what I can tell you right now is that water is life. Look, on a real note, I really want to thank the, uh, the generous alumni for their donations to the Giving Challenge. Like, I would not be where I am today and have the scholarship that I have to stay at IC and not go to Cortland. I mean, look, look at these bottles that we were able to get. Just high quality 32 ounce Gatorade bottles that not just hydrate me, but that hydrate our football team to go kick butt every day and every night. Look, Corlin Waterboy, I'm calling you out. You can't do it like we do it here on the South Hill of Ithaca. You know, my grandpappy Schwobes is still doing a better job than what y'all are doing in the past 10 years. I did four years of varsity back in high school of being a water boy. You know, pH levels, filling up waters. So my goal after I leave here is to go straight to the NFL. But at the end of the day, if you give water as best you can, then water will give you. Just want to raise a toast to that. Cheers. <sighs> Brisk. As the time has finally come. It is here. And I could not be more excited to introduce you to our special guest, Ithaca College water boy, Alexander Swobel. Yeah. Everyone give it up. Yay. Ah. Oh, thank, thank, you so much thank, thank you for having me. Yeah, that was inspirational. That that little that, that little background video. Oh, of, of I you. cried. Yeah. I genuinely cried. It was so moving. It's thank a, you. Thank you. It's a touchy story. Give us some background. Like like, how are yeah. you? How are you? You know, how are you? Well, I'm I'm great. Thank you for asking. Uh, uh, I I don't know. I like just started like having a love for being a water boy ever since my like grandpappy was doing it. You okay. know, uh, grandpappy. So trouble. exactly. So you know, I was you know putting in the work like re at a really young age, and he of course put me on to this great coach named Coach Dasani, as you may have oh. heard of him. Yeah. Very, very well known he in the water great. boy game. Exactly. So he's I mean intense. Yeah, no, he's <laughs> he's a great trainer. I think I've been doing really well. Honestly, I think I'm ready for today and I'm ready to put in that work. I think so, it's gonna pay off. Speaking of today, um, if you're so ready, how come how come you're here, Shobes? Look, okay. So I, I can't be in my water boy attire. I, I've grown in popularity so much that I can't like mm. just leave my apartment anytime, you, you know? The face up it, it, exactly, so nice. yeah. So I've like, it's, it's been like quite stressful. So I'm kind of like keeping it low key. And then like right before the game starts, I'm just gonna run out with the guys, you know? So and basically gonna, this is a disguise for you. Yeah, but. But now you're on live television. Yeah. So yeah, I know exactly well, what you're wearing. Everybody tuned in now knows. I'll just throw my wig on later maybe. And That's just kind of like. Like Hannah Montana. Exactly. No, I love exactly. No, I love no. Yeah. So now. It seems that you have a great relationship with Coach Dasani. Yes. You know, I mean, we saw the uh, the highs, the lows. I mean, and we know that earlier today you were filling up water bottles. Like, 
What was that like? Was Coach Tasani there? Like, is he proud of your progress? Like, how's it looking? Yeah, I mean, he's uh, prepared me like very well. Like, he's like taught me how to like l like to learn the pH levels and how to like you know fill up the water bottles correctly, uh, y you know, and like using like the Gatorade bottles even like. Like we're not using red solo cups. Like we gotta be um, like like top of our game. Exactly. That's yeah. Fair. Like yeah, I fair. I take this job very seriously. I'm sure. And so, you know, like ha his guidance has really like helped me out a ton. So yeah. And that's and so fair. The, the yeah. way we understand it, you are on scholarship to to be yes. not only a water boy but to to do your your studies and complete your, your college education. So, yeah. So yes. how do you feel about the whole um, scholarship fund and the Ithaca? The, the Cortica Giving Challenge, like, what are your thoughts on that? You know, th this scholarship would have honestly never have happened, like, without the generous donations of the alumni. So, honestly, thank you so much for them. Um, and honestly, just being able to, like, just go out there and fill up waters and just the, do just the donations have helped extremely for my, like, benefit. Which well, you've heard them. You have heard from Ithaca College water boy Alexander Schwobel. So that means you have to go to giving.ithaca.edu right now and donate uh -huh. so that more people like one Alexander Schwobel can have their chance to shine. Uh, Definitely. Thank so, you so much for being here. Um, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> thank you so much. Well, yeah, it was, it was great hearing from you, and I, I wish you the best. No, get out. Yeah. Okay. okay bye, we, have, we have a show to film. Yeah. Take the take nice scene. Okay. Okay. But, okay. You're going to leave this Whatever. One? Okay. So, anyways. Let's go. Let's, uh, let's get on with it. Well, uh, by now you've heard about all the crazy, crazy places that our class has been. Mm -hmm. You know, you saw some photos, you know, MLB Studios, right here at Bronx Community College. But we've also spent a lot of time at the Marriott Marquis. Yeah, we actually have. And we, we have a team right there, right now. Right now. We're speaking with our deans before the game. All of Ithaca College's deans um, to see how they feel about this intense game and the challenge. So let's, let's take a look. Let's go to them. game time and we are so excited to watch our Bombers win today. I want to talk to our deans about strategy though first. So Dean Michael, how do we win today? What's the strategy? Two words, hostile takeover. Oh, hostile, so serious. All right, I need to talk to Dean Ann and see what she's got for us. What's on your mind? How can we not win? We have awesome halftime entertainment. Our student is singing the Star Spangled Banner. It's going to be fabulous. We'll uh, win. Oh, it's not about music. We need strategy about football or something about a game. Dean Claire, what do you got? Is Lejeune going to throw out the first pitch? Ah! Uh, time out. This is about football. This is about bomber football. And one more thing. Dean Michael. Coach does not need our help with football. But if we're going to win the Cortica Giving Challenge, your support could make all the difference. Help us win today. Go Bombers. Go Bombers! Ah, oh, look at our Dean. No, they're, they're literally the they're best. They're the best. Especially our Dean, Amy Faulkner. Ah, oh, amazing. We've wow. got a chance to hang out with her too. She's so supportive. I've seen her plenty over the weekend. She is. Oh yeah, she's, she's having a good time too. Yeah, <laughs> um, but yeah, what, what they're saying, they're, they're cheering on the football team, cheering on the students and all that. And How are you feeling today? Like, you know, are, are you excited for the game? You know, I have worked on Bomber Sports on ICTV, so, so I've been true. to pretty much every home football game. I think, I think we're going to, I think we're gonna kill Cortland, I honestly. Mean, we're like, undefeated. We are, und I mean, at the same time, Cortland are undefeated as well. We are undefeated as well, but so I just gotta, feel like our undefeated is better. 100%. <laughs> and it, it seems from Stan's bar, our team, Nicole and Christina, they're giving us reports, shooting us texts and everything. They're like, God, this is crazy, so many alums. So, I mean, the atmosphere in Yankee Stadium is definitely gonna be filled with the bomber pride, so. And we just wanna wish the team, you know, such good luck, and mm -hmm. we, want them to do the, we want them to do well, but yeah. there's some other people that also wanna wish the team good luck. Oh yeah? So, why don't we, why don't we cut to that? Yeah. Hello, football bombers. President Cornish here, encouraging you to finish what you started by handling your business on Saturday in Yankee Stadium. Good luck. Do well, because you can. See you Saturday. Come on, bombers. Let's crush the Red Dragons this year on the Cortica Giving Challenge. Go to giving.ithaca.edu to donate. Let's dominate. Let's get this win. Uh, to the football team headed to Cortica, uh, we send all our best wishes and uh, can't wait to see what you accomplish. Go Mad Dogs! You've been trained so hard for this and you got this, time to win. Go Bombers! Have fun! Go Bombers! Go football team! I'm going to be at the game. Go kill them! We're going to crush Cortland! Bring it on! Our message to the Ithaca Bombers football team is that dragons aren't, aren't real. Very excited to see our Bombers. A go against Cortland in the Cortica Jug and Yankee Stadium. It's going to be absolutely great, and I'm counting on them. They're going to do really well. You've got this. We're rooting for you. 
crush them. them. I am wishing IC the best of luck in the IC giving challenge. Go to ithaca.giving.edu to donate. Bring home the W. Y'all better keep the undefeated score. Best of luck to the team. Y'all got a big game coming up, so good luck out there. Go Bombers. Best of luck to the football team. Hopefully we can stay undefeated today. Go Bombers. Play hard. Win. Score more points than Cortland. Best of luck. Go, Go Bombers! I just want to say to all the football players out there, have the time of your lives. Play for each other. Be there for each other. Lift each other up and make memories that are going to last you a lifetime. Don't forget to donate to the Cortica Giving Challenge. It ends Sunday night, so go to giving.ithaca.edu and make a donation of any size. One team, one beat, all day. Go Bombers. We got to hear from President Cornish oh, again. Again, just, which we love. You know, we love her. Um, but yeah, it's that's just, I that's love just it. That's just our school. It's awesome. Our school is just, we. everyone loves each other. We love it. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, our time here at Bronx Community College is coming to an end and here on the live stream as well. Mm -hmm. But before we go, yep. let's take a final look. And I got to actually come this time. Yeah, so it feels different up here with I you. Know, I love I it. Know. I feel rejuvenated. Oh, right. No, same. Yeah. Same. It was just sad over there. Uh -huh. But let's so, take a look. Oh, man. We're not ending the stream on a high note, but I have faith. I have faith as well. I have faith. So right now we're down 645 to 643. We're down to, um, so we just wanted to thank all of you for, tun for tuning, tuning into this stream. For giving for, challenge. For putting up with me and Zawadi this whole time. I um, know. We're a lot. We're a lot. Yeah. But, but we, also, hope, we hope we did well. So. We hope we did well. And also make sure you go to giving.ithaca.edu and donate. We still have a chance to win. This doesn't end till tomorrow night. And continue using the hashtag Bombers, Bombers Give Back on all social media. I'm Connor Tobin. I'm Zawadi Boyce, and we want to go to Cortica, so we got to go. Have fun. Bye. College game day is a special moment. Oh, what do you got up front here, huh? What you got front here, huh? What you got up front here, Once a year for two schools, it's much more than just a football game. There aren't many rivalries in Division III football as deep-rooted as this. Ithaca College versus SUNY Cortland. It's a true rivalry. Dating back to 1930, the schools have competed. Touchdown, Cortland State! Described as the biggest little game in the nation, the stage is set. The game of a lifetime, the Cortica Jug in Yankee Stadium. But this year, it's much more than just the game on the gridiron. Not only is it players versus players on the field, it's alumni versus alumni off the field. The Cortica Giving Challenge. Which school's alums love their alma mater the most? Who can get more donors and raise more money? Bombers versus Red Dragons. Ithaca versus Cortland. We need you to step up and represent Ithaca College. The stakes are high. The school, the community, and President Cornish are relying on you. Who will stay undefeated on the field? and who will bring home the bragging rights? Donate to the Cortica Giving Challenge at giving.ithaca.edu to keep me in blue.